folks, and welcome back to the camper. On this episode of Old Car Auto Guy, today we are doing a mail call with a bunch of license plates. You're not going to want to miss it, so stay tuned. So guys, we are at the camper right now, and it's only Thursday, but I figured we better take advantage of this because the weather is nice and I just simply love being down here. It's a great place to come down and relax. So I had a bunch of mail call to do and it's been a while since I've done a video so I figured what a better time to give you guys some Saturday content than to show you what we've got. This episode is going to be based solely on the mail call and preparation for the completion of the wall art project. Having said that, let's dive in to the first bit of mail call. So in this box here, I received from my one of my subscribers, Harley Pebbly, and Harley has a channel as well, and I'm gonna get the link to his channel, and I'm gonna put it right here for you guys. So you can go over and check his channel out, see what he's all about. He has sent me some license plates all the way from Riverton, Utah, and I'm gonna share those with you right now. So obviously the first plate that he has sent is a Utah plate. And the other three are all a little bit different, but all from the great state of California. So there's one, two, three. That's four plates in all from Harley. Harley, I really appreciate you sending those out to me all the way from Utah. You know how much I appreciate your comments in the comment section. The next one is going to be from a local fella here in St. Stephen who uh, popped into my shop this week and dropped off three different license plates. And uh, Mark, thank you so much for doing that. We've got another one from Texas. We've got an old 1968 from Quebec, as well as a 69 from Quebec, Mark. Thank you so much for those plates, and I really appreciate those. The next set of plates comes all the way from Manitoba, and uh, my buddy Shane Reynolds out there, who is also known as Winnipeg Car Life on Instagram, as well as his YouTube channel. Uh, Shane's a little bit hesitant sometimes on making a YouTube video. He does hasn't done very many, but I'm trying to encourage him to uh, you know, step outside the box and uh, put a few more together. And he answered the call for some license plates and he has sent me two pair. So these ones here are the current style license plates from Manitoba, which is friendly Manitoba. And we've also got some from 1976. As you can see here, again, the friendly Manitoba has not changed over the years. So they were using it way back in 76. They're still using it today. I did have one uh, that I collected by myself. And of course, it's easy to collect New Brunswick license plates. We had a uh, fellow that works here for the town uh, is trading in his vehicle. We sold it on the auction block. It was the uh, 2008 Chevy Tahoe. And the plates had to come off because it was leaving the province. So we took those plates off and we're gonna use these as spares. I might not put them up for the wall art project, but I do know a few guys who are looking to collect some license plates themselves. And I do have an abundance of New Brunswick ones. So I'll be sending some of these out to you guys. I also have a fellow who reached out to me one time uh, looking for some places uh, to rent here in St. Stephen and uh, he is from uh, yeah, Sault Ste. Marie in Ontario and uh, Ron has uh, thought about moving to St. Stephen all the way from Sault Ste. Marie and uh, he is trying to get back here and Ron took the time out of his day to send me a couple of stickers and these are from a tattoo shop that he must frequent and uh, so one of them says uh, one love tattoo and the other one is one love studio piercings and that's kind of their logo on the place where I assume he gets his done thanks so much Ron I'm looking forward to meeting you someday once you get uh, back here to St. Stephen we'll have to go and throw some darts together obviously Ron knows I'm not a dart player he is and uh, that's one of the things he enjoys doing so we'll have to get together uh, maybe over a beer and uh, throw some darts Last but not least on this mail call is 
some uh, is a gift, a couple of gifts uh, from a gentleman from Cape Breton Island. For some reason, I still don't think I even know his first name. I believe it's Sean. Sean, if it's not Sean, you can correct me in the comments below. He has a channel called For I Am Caper. I will put that right here. I'll leave a link in the description box below. His channel basically uh, is known as This Guy's Garage, and he has sent me a t-shirt. And I'm ever so thankful that he even sent the right size, extra large. And uh, you can read that. It says This Guy's Garage, uh, as seen on YouTube channel, For I Am Caper. He's hilarious. Uh, he's got that Cape Breton accent. It's something that makes us Canadians uh, stand out a little bit from the rest. If you hear this accent, you know exactly where this guy is from. On the t-shirt it says, drive junk, not drive drunk, drive junk, race junk, and hurt feelings. So he's a racer deep down. Uh, he's got a channel that he uh, features quite a few different things. One of them is his, uh, I believe it's a either a supercharged or a turbocharged Cougar or Thunderbird, my goodness, I can't even remember. Anyways, go over, take a look at his channel. He's a very small channel, he is growing. Uh, help him build and uh, continue watching his uh, videos. Like I said, you're gonna get a kick out of him. So he has sent me off some uh, license plates. This one here, it says it's off of Project uh, Furious Flurry, and that is his motorhome that he's getting ready to uh, rebuild. Uh, so this is from British Columbia. He's also got one from Nova Scotia that is specific to a camper, so it says camper on the bottom. That one just may even stay right here. We've got one from Washington State, the Evergreen State. And this one says blue, blue van on my channel, AKA the blue something, unfortunately the marker has worn off. Um, this plate was on it when he bought it. And then he's got a, uh, a New Brunswick license plate that is off, also off of a trailer. Any plates in New Brunswick that are start with the letter T are trailer plates. And he's got written on here, uh, don't think you, uh, didn't think you had one of these, uh, so I don't. Um, I do have one, I do have a couple of trailers myself. Obviously I need those plates. Uh, this one's been run out for several years, so he has uh, sent this one off to me. So. Thanks a lot, Sean, if that is your name. And uh, thank you so much for sending these plates out. Thank you to everybody who took the time to uh, fulfill uh, my wall art project to its completion. We're almost uh, there. I would say if we had another half a dozen plates or so, we're probably ready to roll and get back on that project. If you don't know what project wall art is, I'm going to leave a link in the cards right here. You guys can go back and check that out right from start to finish. This makes episode number six altogether. And basically what we did was we took a front clip off of another 78, 79 Chrysler Cordoba and we painted it. We filled it full of lights and uh, the last thing that I'm missing for that is a couple of park light lenses uh, or turn signal lenses as well as a grill. So if you've got an old junk car and you're watching this and you've got an, an old grill out of a Cordoba 78, 79 that you're willing to get rid of, really, really cheap, hit me up on Instagram as well as on my Facebook page and I would be happy to take that off your hands. That is going to do it for this episode of Old Car Auto Guy, and keep in mind that as always, we are sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. I'm not gonna go into a great big long spiel, but I wanna thank Matt White for sending me some products to look after this main and to keep it looking as handsome as possible. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video. So put your hand in mine. Follow me, let me waste your time. Set up the some stupid shit Take a seat, let me waste your time Solving top of time